That's not Kevin Cash. <laughs> Get it inside. That's put it up Kevin and in. Cash. Nice pass. Turbin extends their lead. 32-24. Looks like they're going to be in a 2-3, try to get it into Francis, and it got stolen. Stolen back by Warren Beebe. Warren takes the ball up to Mike Liritz. Over to Beebe, the shot. No good. Ball back down Liritz. the floor for Liritz. Going to fire a three. Fires a tray. Chris Tucker with the rebound. Up to Beebe. BB penetrates his left side. Back out to Tucker. He's going to fire a three. Yes, Good. Sir. Yes, sir. Chris Tucker for three. It's going to make it, what, 32-27? Is Class that what we 77. Got? Yes, sir. 32-27. Joe Moon and Bob Zoglio. Mike Albert is down here in the corner contemplating when they're going to take over the game. <laughs> Looks like it said it went off Francis, I believe. It's going to stay here with uh, Turpin. Get it inside. Into, into wide sides, back to Liritz. Back to wide sides. Puts it up and in. Wow, right, nice job. Jim Liritz looks like he still has it. So does wide sides. Nice little move right there. BB to Tucker. Back to BB for three. No good, air ball. Misses everything. And we got about uh, six minutes to go here in this. Third quarter, Dan Albers and Brad Ellis here on Anderson Community Television and USBN Sports. Fired as a three-pointer. Foul on a play. Warren Beebe on a foul. Jim Whitesides will be at the line shooting two. Now I'm iffy on most of these Turpin guys now. Yeah, I'm with at you on best. that one. So. Danny, you buying me dinner? No. If I do really good, will you? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Your brother's at Salem Gardens right now. Is he really? What's he doing there? Free throw no good. I don't know. He just said he was there. Meet him there. But I'm not there right now. So. You know what? I had a couple of texts from my daughter-in-law. So, so uh, missed free throw there. He's on the line for a second free throw. No good. And Turbin with the rebound. Throws up a shot. Good. So Turpin's extended the lead, 34-27. <laughs> Did you hear what I said, Dan? What's that? I had a couple texts from my daughter-in-law. Can you believe I have one? That's scary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Means you're old. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out. Try to get it inside. Anderson is knocked away. Larris behind the back. Give it up. We're going to run all the way down. Warren Beebe. Mike, or Mike Lears runs it down. Francis over to Tucker. Tucker from the corner. Buries it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have somebody going down here. That's not good. That's Chris Tucker down for the Redskins. Did he roll his ankle? I didn't see what happened. I was trying to find a score. I don't know. He's down. That's uh, not, a, not, a, not a good uh, thing to see. So you see him coming out, get a nice uh, round of applause. See big Ty Burdick going out there. He's about as tall as he is. Yeah. Ty Burdick and Jack Kaniski helping Chris Tucker off. We do have the uh, the turban trainer here. So that's, oh, that's a good, good. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Chris Tucker make, makes the shot. And then bumps his ankle after he gets makes the shot. We'll see if we can get an update. Ty Burdick's coming in. So, uh, Turpin bringing the ball up. They're up 36-29. Swinging around, Laird's. It's gonna. Oh, he almost shot. He's going to fire three to get it from the wing. No good. Rebounded by Chris Francis. Good block out by Francis. Get it to Ty Burdick. Uh, try to get it inside of Francis. <laughs> Probably not the guy to get it to at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, it's Francis meets Lear, it's in the lane. I don't know who got the worst of that. It's like he's uh, 
Turpin will take over possession here, 36-29. 4.49 to go. Looks like we got the next five sitting, standing down here, ready to go in for the Redskins. Larritz with a three, shot is no good. Turpin saved it, they said he went out of bounds. Kevin Cash trying to save the ball. I can't see, is that Kevin or Mike? I don't know which one's which. And bringing the ball up now will be Anderson as they're trailing 36-29. Ty is uh, not inside where he should be. Fires up a three. <laughs> Ball's going to go out of bounds. It'll be, <laughs> Ty, it'll be Turpin's ball. Get in position for the, for the rebound, but ball bounces off his hands out of bounds. Coming down the other way now is Turpin. Firing up a shot, no good. Ty Burdick trying to get the rebound, he doesn't get it. Turpin fights for it, shot no good, goes back out. Turpin's gonna have it. To the corner to the white sides. The Turpin in the white, Anderson in the black. Back out front. It's uh, getting ready to go under four minutes, three point attempt on the way, good. What's that guy's name is Mick Shank. So we're gonna have substitutions coming in. We got uh, Mike Albers, uh, Dave Julio. Dave Julio, Joe Moon, and Zoglio, and Ty Burdick will stay in the game. Chris Tucker's been taken off the bench back to the training room for further observation. So we're going to have Julio bring the ball up the court for Anderson. See if the young guys can do something here. And there's Julio. Shot is no good. Blake Zimmerman clears the boards for the skins. This is Wonker to Zimmerman for three. No good. Rebounded by Ty Burdick. Ball knocked out of his hands. Hand. Not sure who that is, but they missed. Rebounded by Dave Julio. <laughs> I think it's Greg Gunther. I was just going to go to the basket. <laughs> Here I come, man. So I believe Ty will be on the line to shoot two shots. Ty Burdick, class of 1985. I can tell you. Hey, I only played my sophomore year in high school. And if I played in this, I would look... Awful. No, uh, I, I can only run up down one time, maybe. Awful. Ty Hold on, you guys, you guys played in that three-on-three three tournament. Come on. Yeah, I died, dude. <laughs> I was sore for three weeks. You're still recovering. I still am. I'm still recovering from my 97 marathon. Zimmerman with the three-point attempt. No good. Push off by yep. Rick Anderson, and he puts it up and in. <laughs> Joe, Joe's saying that when I was coaching, you, Glenn wouldn't make that call, and he didn't make it just there either. <laughs> Mike's going to get double teamed if he doesn't get rid of the ball. He does. Gets it to Zoglio. Gives it to Moose. <laughs> he got hammered. He did get hammered. I think we're letting him play. 2.30 left in the third quarter. Is it 41-30? Yep. Get it back up top. Anderson in a 2-3 zone. The fire up a three-point attempt. No good. <laughs> and Ty Burdick's going to save it to Julio. 41 to 30, 214 to go in this uh, third quarter. I'm wait There I'm we go, got a foul. I'm waiting for Joe Moon to get hot, hit three or four threes. What do you think? I don't know. I, I... Anderson trailing here, 41 to 30. Julio has it. Looking in there for Ty Burdick. He's got nothing. Gets it into him now. Back to Julio. Pulls up. Throws up a shot. No good. Moose fighting for Moose the rebound. For the rebound. Gets the rebound. Moose with the rebound. Oh, throws a bad <laughs> pass to Joe Moon. Joe Moon's vertical wasn't very good on that one. Well, we'll blame it on Joe Moon with his vertical there. Uh, he well, it's thicker than water, right? So Moose does a good job getting a rebound, but uh, Joe well, Moon. He was spent after all that energy to get the rebound. This guy likes to shoot. Hits a three-pointer. 43-30. 44-30. I a three. Julio coming down the other way. Loses control of the basketball. Ball's on the ground. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession is. Turpin. 
Going to go to Turpin. So 40, what is the score? 44-30, 130 left in the third quarter. Turpin definitely came out with a hot hand in the second half. Blake Zimmerman with the ball right there. Over to who I might believe Julio. is Greg Gunther. Julio makes the basket, so. Joe Moon stepping out, playing a little D. Getting it out now. Turpin drives in, gets it in to Zimmerman. He gets fouled. Basket's wow. good. Nice pass. Nice pass on a drive. He penetrates and dishes. Zimmerman makes his shot and will go to the line for one. 101 left in the third quarter. Blake Zimmerman ready to make this a 50 to 34 game if he makes this one. Anderson, uh, as we said last year, won this game last year. And Zimmerman's free throw is no good, and it's rebounded by Moose. Darn right. Need a parachute to come down on that one. Throws it to Joe Moon. He's going to fire up a shot. Not a very good one. <laughs> Ty Burdick's going to get fouled. <laughs> <laughs> Joe lays a brick. Uh, just, I know Joe, so I, I think I can go ahead and say that. He'll, he'll tell you, too. Oh, man. Again, this is why we're up here, right? That's exactly right. We can, we can make fun of him. Ty Burdick misses a free throw. Hits off the front of the rim. Do you, know, do you know that UC made 17 straight free throws today? Unbelievable. How about that? Next free throws. No good. So he misses both of them. And Anderson uh, had the rebound, but it goes off uh, Dave Julius. So we're at 49 seconds to go. 2-3 zone for Anderson. Fires up a three-point shot. No good. Short. And it's going to be tipped up. And Julio with the rebound. Look at the trailer. Look at the trailer. Julio's going to spin, drive into the basket, pulls up, throws up a shot. No good. And running it down is going to be Zoglio. Get it to Ty Burdick. Burdick gets it into Joe Moon. Joe Moon throws up a shot. No good. Tipped up by Ty Burdick. No good. <laughs> Try to tip it again. Didn't, didn't sustain his, uh, his air. So foul's going to be on Zoglio. Again, it looks like Phil Sinkovich might go down to another defeat here at Turpin High School. I think he's meeting with the older guys, saying it's time for you guys to step it up. Tim Rupert, Paul Seibert. And Joe Moon's got it. What is he? <laughs> he was going to launch it. Gives it to Moose. Moose going to fire up a three-pointed shot. Oh. No good. Ty Burdick gets it. Shot no good. <laughs> So that'll be the end of our <laughs> quarter here. 49 to 34 is our score. Anderson trailing. And uh, Sinkovich is going to have to pull something out of his uh, bag of tricks here. <laughs> Some of these guys look haggard already, man. Yep, they're dying. But again, Dan Albers and Brad Ellis here from uh, Turbin High School on Anderson Community Television and USBN Sports. And uh, again, we want to thank Tony Hemelgard here for. Uh, Give us an opportunity to uh, broadcast this game. I'm telling you, it's, it's got to be coaching. Uh, Phil <laughs> just looked up here shaking his head. It's got to be coaching. Get his butt out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Phil looking up at us and uh, shaking his head. Yep. I wish I wish we could be as fancy as ESPN in that and get, like, stats and everything so I can get his total record here at, at Turpin High School. Oh, they had some good games here when you guys were in the high school. Yeah, and it back, it, you, hey, back in the day when they had uh, Bob Fick, Scott Kinky, they were really, really good. Bob Fick's got his uh, hey, jersey retired. Hey, Dave Dunaway, Jim Bell. Absolutely. Dan Albers. Todd yes. Riley. Boomer. You had Boomer playing back That's then. right, buddy. Who, who led a city in assists that year? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> who, who led the city in splinters that year? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Come Is on. your brother Steve there? Yeah. Uh, not a good pass by Snoffer. It's going to be over and back. <laughs> you know why Steve led the city in assists? Because Jimmy Bell shot the ball every time he touched it. No, because Steve couldn't shoot. He wouldn't shoot because he's awful at it. And it helped that Jimmy shot it every time, too. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going to have a foul.
<laughs> Brad, uh, I know you had a lot going on on your Saturday night. I appreciate you broadcasting this game. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe the things that I had to cancel to be here. Uh, oh, man. So Anderson trailing big here, 51-34. to 34. All I know is if you'd have called like 10 minutes later, I'd have been asleep. <laughs> Jack Kaniski for a deuce. And he puts it in. It's good getting <laughs> Jack on, on the air. So Anderson now 51 to 36. Mm. Shot on away. Mark good. Newton. Wow. <laughs> oh, trying to throw an air, uh, an alley oop, wasn't good. Tim Rupert said, "I don't think we're allowed to dunk tonight, so he let it go." <laughs> so Anderson, uh, what's the score there? 53-36. Okay. Is that the work? Yeah. Dan Keith in for the for the Spartans. Skip pass to Kevin. How about that? Oh! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give the assist to Dan Keith as Kevin. Wow. Drains a three. three. Paul Seiber yeah. back in the game. Oh, uh, air ball barely hit anything. Coming down the other way is going to be Turpin. That's Dan Keith penetrating back to Kevin. Fakes out snuff. And no foul called. You know why? Because Kevin's an official himself. So they don't give him any breaks. Wait. Kevin was over doing one of Steve's games a couple weeks ago. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tim Rupert over to Mark Newson, wrong team. Try to get it down in the corner. I believe yeah. it's going to go out of bounds. So we're going to yeah. have a couple subs. Gary Hardawig checking in. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> so Anderson trailing here. What do we got here? Uh, 50, 50 something. 56, 30. 56-36. These, these Turpin guys are here to play defense. I'm not oh, sure what, what all that's up about. It's Turpin coming down the other way. Gary Hardewick. Hardewick, no misses, good. Misses one. That is uh, Jeff D'Angelo fouled on a play. Hardewick take the ball out of bounds. D'Angelo with the ball. Back yeah, to Hardewick. He fired fire one. Corner. Shot no good. Coming down the other way. Lose control of it. Hardaway's going to have it now. He's going to give it up. Layup. Up and good. I'm, I'm going to use the word uncontested. Is that all right? That, that works. <laughs> Paul Seiber from the corner. No, no good. good. Snoffer takes the ball. And he's going to put it up and in. So Anderson scores. Making it now 38. Moose up for some aspirin here. <laughs> and shot is no good by Turpin, rebounded by Snoffer. It's like, yeah, Moose getting some aspirin already. It's going to be stolen now this time. <laughs> Three-point attempt on the way. Air ball, no good. Dan Keefe air mails that one. Jack with the ball. It's like we're going to have substitutions, and uh, I believe we're going to have who? What do we got coming in? I have no idea. Well, we'll have to see when they get back out there. It's not like they're running onto the floor or anything. You got Moose in? We got Moose, Chris Francis, Warren Beebe, Mike Liritz, Dave Julio. So what do you got? One, two, three, four, nope. five. We got five. Yep. Nope. Now we got six. That's okay. Let's play six. Let's, let's see how long it takes him to figure it out. So Kaniski is going to come out. Julio is going to go in. Lyric's back in. Scott Nelson back in. Looks like they're going with some younger guys to try to seal the deal here. It's like uh, Keith is that down there trying to tell who to put in. <coughs> Anderson trailing. Uh, what do we got? 58-38, I believe. <laughs> yep. Get it to Francis. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. <laughs> and they're going to throw it all the way down the other end. And it's going to be run Beebe. down. Warren Beebe runs it down. 
one of the only ones running right about now. <laughs> Warren with the three. Rolls no out. Whoop. Julio gets it into Moose. Pump fake. Oh, no. Nice head fake. You got to make that. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Get pressure! Pressure's on! <laughs> Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. Come on. See if Moose gets on a board here. He'll choke. <laughs> More importantly, he hit it. He did hit rim. Let's get ready to shoot another one. We'll see if he even <laughs> hits anything. There you go. <laughs> so Mike Albers makes one he, and two. He, he's in the paper. So he makes his alumni debut and uh, goes <laughs> one and two on the free throw line. And it's going to be pulled Julio. Out by Julio. Going to take it all the way. Gets foul. Ooh. With a body, Dan. With a body. <laughs> Some of these guys are a little red faced. I hope they get. <laughs> recover in the, soon enough to be able to have something to drink after the game. <laughs> <laughs> so Julio on the line. Anderson trailing 58-39, 3.55. Uh, free throw's no good. Might have to practice taking some free throw shots. What do you think? Next uh, alumni game. Did you say practice? Yeah. Practice? <laughs> practice. You're talking practice, man. Are you talking to me? 58-40. to 40. Scott Nelson over to Lyrits. Julio clamping down on defense. Lyrits wants to shoot a three, I believe. Hardwick over to the big guy. Three, no good. Moose Save runs it Moose. down. Moose. I think you give him another chance right here. Because he's open, he's open, he's open. He's wanting it. Chris Francis turns around, throws a shot, no good. Whoa, Moose, Moose. Tip. almost tipped it in. He's got a good vertical. Yeah, he does. So Laritz has it. Turpin trying to hold on to that lead. 58. Here's the three-pointer by Laritz. Boom. Good. Wow. So we got about uh, getting ready to go under three minutes to go in the game. Looks like Sinkovic is going to have some substitutions. Firing up a shot. No good. And rebounded by Gary N or Nelson, isn't it? Scott Nelson. Scott Nelson, sorry. Getting to Laris behind his back, but over to Warren. Get it in the moose. Get it in the moose. Power Look at that. Up and under. Wow. Oh, my. Oh. Hey, that's on TV. <laughs> he needs to sit down after that one. Redskins have about eight guys on the floor. <laughs> Redskins say that Bob Zoglio. Oh, we yeah, have a timeout. We got to hold out here. It's like uh, Anderson's going with the young guys again. Oh, they you got think? Zoglio, Mike Lyrits, Moose, Ty, and Joe. So we got uh, Turpin up here, 61 to 44. Maybe this would be one of those things where the home team always wins, huh? Ah, could be. Anderson in that 2-3 zone. Obviously, these old guys can't play man-to-man. -man. <laughs> and again, you say that from up here. Hey, I can say that when I'm announcing. Yeah, he tipped up. No good and fouled by Ty Burdick, I believe. So Turpin uh, takes the ball out of bounds. Got about, what, 2.08 to go in this game. Anderson's going to have to make a furious comeback here. Nelson from the top of the key. Nelson shot no Off good. Rebound by Zoglio. Moose open on the right, takes the ball. Oh, no. <laughs> he feels it. He feels Moose it. Moose has it. Getting inside of Ty Burdick. Back to Moose. Drives in, up, under, no good. Almost another shot by Moose. He feels it. But oh. by Ty Burdick. But you can see where he is. coming. He's just coming in your screen now. <laughs> you see where he's at. Who's your buddy, Dan? That's right. Who is your buddy? 
That'll be my uh, stepson here shortly. There That's you Zane. go. Wide sides from the corner. He falls up short. And put Follow up and up in. in. 136, and Filson Kovic is going to go take another L here at Turpin High School. So if we rotate Anderson coaches, who's up next for their skins? We're going to bring back Terry Gordon. Oh, my God. Ty Burdick with a three-point shot. No <laughs> good. And <laughs> you like that one? And, and shot by Turpin. No good. Tipped up and in. And he throws it down to Moose. Who's over to, to Joe? Joe Moon. To Zobu. Zobu. Yep. Ty Burdick's going to drive in. Kicks it out to Moose. He's going to fire up a three-point shot. No good. Ty with the rebound. He gets fouled. Good hustle by Joe Moon on a tip right there. Who who was before Frank? Who was a coach before Frank? Before Frank was, uh, uh, hold on, give me a couple minutes. He had a twin, Quatman. Oh, okay. And Ty <laughs> Burke missed another free throw. Jim and John Quatman. I believe it was Quatman, wasn't yeah. it? Could have been. So who was no – did, no did Quatman take over for Terry Gordon? No. Uh, took over for Sinkovich. Oh, so it was Sinkovich, then Quatman, then Frank. So Gordon, we missed Gordon on, on one of them. So it's going to have a – I believe we're going to have a foul. Foul on Big Joe move. White side's going to the line. Um, did I tell you I'm starving? <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out. Damn. Dan. Got a free throw going. What's that? I'm hungry, too. Can we take all that money we made from this and go get something to eat? That'll be zilch. <laughs> really? <laughs> Doing this out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> right now, I'm out of the goodness of my stomach because I'm hungry. Free throw on the way again. Man, it's good. good. Mike Albert is bringing the ball up the court. He's going to drive in, get it in. Nice pass. There Shot you go. Good. good job. Give him an assist too, buddy. How about that? He's all over the charts. Throw an alley-oop, it looks like. I know. Swinging around, got it inside, and there's going to be a foul on Zoglio. You know, I'm not sure who this guy is from Turbin. 19 seconds to go. A lot of, Like we said, a lot of alumni in the stands, you know. So... Again, we want to thank uh, Tony Hamelgard here for giving us the opportunity to broadcast this. Free throws no good. Run bound by Turpin. Good box out by Tyler Burdick. Hardwick, no good. No good. Run Brand. down by Jumpin' Joe Moon. Jumpin' Joe Moon. Who was the original Jumpin' Joe? Come on, who was it? Joe Miller? Yes. Thank you very much. Get it to Moose. 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 And that'll take us to the end of the game, Dan. Final score. End of the game. How about that? Moosey with the three-pointer. Final score here from Turpin High School. The Spartans take the Redskins 66-49. After that last second three from Mike Moose, Moose Albers. Albers. Puts it in. And so it's the end of our score. I don't know if we're going to get anybody up here, so we'll kind of see uh, <laughs> if we can get Phil Sinkovich, uh, the losing. I said the losing coach here. <laughs> so we'll see if uh, we can get any guys, maybe Rick Anderson. You want Rick to come on up here. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Rick. Rick, come on up here. So we'll get uh, Rick Anderson to come up here. and you're, you're in charge of that for me, buddy. Check one. Check one. So uh, great, great turnout here. Uh, again, uh, hopefully they'll do this again, and next year it'll be at Anderson High School. You know what? Right now we're looking at just one injury. Yeah, and that's good. That is good. So we're going to get uh, Rick Anderson here. That's pretty good if he can do that. I'm impressed. That means you're still limber there, Rick. Yeah, he hasn't tightened up yet. All right, good. We're going to be uh, joined here. Uh, we're joined by – let's scoot back a little bit. Sure. Got uh, how we looking. There we go. By uh, Rick Anderson. Gosh darn, dude, you're a lot taller than I am. But uh, talk a little bit about this. Uh, second year we had it. 
I don't know if the crowd was similar or different, but uh, it's a great, yeah, a, a pretty know, good crowd. Not bad, not bad. Um, you know, a couple of the Anderson guys, the, some of the stars, uh, Elliot, um, Elliot Reed, uh, that did not show up this year. But hey, it was a great event anyway. Uh, as you can see, the community all came out. <clears throat> we had uh, it was a blast. You know, hey, we had a 20 point victory in our place. So yeah, that, that's always fun. But you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoever won doesn't matter. It's all about uh, it's all about the community and all about the foundation. And that's what it's all about. So uh, maybe we'll have that uh, Anderson win at Anderson, Turpin win at Turpin. Exactly. We'll keep going back and forth. It's all fun. Uh, to me, to me, putting on this event is all about having a good time. And whoever wins, it really doesn't matter. It's all about uh, right. It's all about having fun. And hopefully, everybody that came had a good time. So. And it's good to see everybody. And, and you can see that everybody still appreciates the friendship that everybody's Absolutely. had together. It's so much fun getting this thing together. The, the couple months beforehand, all the banter back and forth, and uh, you know we, we have a few events beforehand. We meet, get together at the local watering hole, and have have a few cocktails and uh, and dinner, and it's a blast. So fun! It's fun! It's fun! Jim Whitesides comes in from St. Louis. Uh, is that that's the fun part about the whole thing? So, yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Hey, I mean, is it is it hard for you to get this thing together every year? Or is it, it is really it? not? I mean, because once you put the email out that hey we're doing this again. Uh, everybody, everybody comes and shows up, and uh, they're, they're, they love to play. Some of the guys love to play again. I particularly, uh, I have to get start getting in shape again <laughs> for an old 50 year old guy again. This is this is a lot of work for me, but uh, but again, it's all about the camaraderie and having fun. So. Uh, hey, and this year I didn't pull a muscle again, so that's that's the fun part about well, it. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to join Absolutely. us and, and doing this again, and uh, we're going to have a, an Anderson guy here now, and uh, Dave Julia is going to join us. So, right. again, Rick, thanks Thank for all your you. help. Thanks I appreciate it. Again. No Take problem. Care. So that's uh, Rick Anderson joining us. We're going to have uh, Dave Julio coming up right now and got the Brad man in the camera for us. And uh, Dave, Dave uh, we, you, you won it last year and you lose it this year. I, I don't know if we're going to do the home and away thing. It looks like it right now. At least we got to hold up our end of the bargain and you know, take care of next year. So, well, talk, talk a little bit about we've talked to all these guys about uh, how special it is to, to come back and not not only play against Turbin, but some of the guys you played against. Yeah. And you remember yeah. how special is that for you? It's awesome. I mean, first of all, to see the old coaches we had, the coaches that coached against us, playing with our teammates. But, yeah, playing against guys like Nimmo last year and Wonker this year and just all these guys that – it really takes you back. It's really. I mean, who would have thought we'd ever had the opportunity to get to do this 30 years from now? You know. So. Yeah, and, and it was really neat for me to see Jim Larratt's back. I mean, yeah, yeah I remember yeah. him playing against you guys back oh, in the day, man. and uh, he, great to see him. He could. He's have a shot about five feet past uh, the top of the key. He was money from there. He could really bury it. It was great. Great to see Jim back, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it's just great that people come out and support this charity. You know, to see some kind of mediocre basketball, but they come out and support a great charity, have a good time with each other, and. Uh, it's just really a fun community event to be part of. And that's what it's all about. And you've got a weird situation. Too. I, I never knew this until John Raymond told me. you got uh, daughters that are once going to Anderson and one's going to Turpin. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, they both play ball for uh, each school. And it's funny how that worked with Nagel giving you the opportunity to choose your school. Uh, my, my, my oldest daughter chose Turpin. My youngest daughter, most of her friends were going to Anderson. So we said, what the heck, give that a shot. They're both good schools. I graduated from Anderson, right. obviously. My wife graduated from Turpin. Wow. So we're like. Do you split, split the shirts down we down did. halfway? We, we did. We had special shirts made up because they actually played uh, against each other this year um, with CCB and JV. But she sat varsity and Marissa played varsity, so we had to have we had to represent both both schools. So uh, that's great. And, and, and I mean, it's just a really neat thing. Like you said, it's about the foundation. That's what this is all yeah, about. It's really just great to see the turnout and to see awareness of the foundation grow. I didn't know what it was last year. Obviously, it was in its infancy. Now it's really blossoming. People are understanding what they do. And they support all students in the district, so it's a great, it's a great thing. Yeah, so I appreciate you taking the time to join us, and hopefully again we'll see you again next year. I hope so. All right, thanks, thanks Dave. That's Dave Julio, class of 1983, joining us, and we uh, getting his uh, thoughts. I don't know if Phil Sinkovich is coming up or not. I have no idea. Let's see if he's down there. Do you see him down there anywhere? I don't, I don't see him going. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna get uh, get anybody else on here. Brad, you want to swing it around, swing the camera around, and. So we'll get. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if we're gonna get. Yeah, if you want to. I don't know who. To get somebody. Uh, somebody on here. Uh, but yeah, just uh, what another. What another great night here at uh, Anderson. Or excuse me, at Turpin High School. Um, again, Turpin comes out with the, the win in the second annual. So they're one and one. On games, how much tape time do we have left on there? Forty-seven. So we got some time. So. Don't know if uh, Phil Sinkovich will be coming up. 
Uh, looks like uh, we, we, we might not uh, have anybody else uh, joining us, so should we call it a wrap, Brad? Yeah, we'll get Sinkovich up here in a few minutes to, to get him. Brad, if you want to come back on, I don't know if you want to. We'll wait till uh, he comes on here, and we'll uh, get our words from uh, Phil Sinkovich. So, uh, what a what a what a great uh, what a gr great turnout we've had here, and uh, you know, as you said, uh, those guys really appreciate uh, playing in this game. What if they could do a football game? Oh my God, flag football! I would love to play in that. Maybe we can bring that bring that back up. How about a softball Phil, game? Phil's going to take his uh, take his uh, time, isn't he? Yeah, what you think? Dan, you know what would what, what work would be a softball game? That would that would be a good idea. No. They, no. But they, they couldn't have lyrics play. No, absolutely not. So well, then they'd say you can't have tie play. So we'll see if uh, we'll get uh, Phil Sinkovich up here. Hopefully, we'll get uh, his thoughts on uh, losing again here at Turpin. Well, the one, the one player who went down for Anderson was Chris Tucker. We certainly hope the best for him. We hope that uh, everything's okay. So uh, pretty good crowd here at Turpin High School. Since I wasn't at last year's game, I don't know, but not quite the crowd we had last year. Well, I had, no, it's not. But I have to give props to the brother there. My brother Moose uh, There's big did, Ronnie a, Evans. did a lot better than I uh, anticipated he would do. So Ronnie Evans, remember him playing back in the day at uh, Anderson when they were really good. Class of '82, I think. I don't. I don't. You know what? I I can't sit here and wait for Phil Sinkovich for uh, see if he's moving. Yeah, he's he's moving that way. So no, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's coming up here. Son, do you know how many people he's going to stop and talk to on the way? So. Huh? I know. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, we won't run out of tape here. <laughs> we got 30. What? No, I can't see. I don't have glasses. Yeah, we'll see. I don't even know if Phil knows how to get up here. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is take the steps. Huh? Yeah, but but does he know how to do that? Who knows? So, uh, but yeah, d just uh, yeah, it really was a good turnout again, and uh, Turpin wins this, and again they're going to try to do it every year, but maybe change it up just a little bit this time. Yeah. There's the Moon family. All right, Phil. Come on. Keep working. Keep working, Phil. Let's see if he gets there. Yep, Phil's going to work Keep his way up it. here. He's hit the door. So, Phil Sinkovich will be up here in a few minutes. We'll get his thoughts, and then we're going to wrap it up for uh, wrap it up for tonight. There is Bill Newton and Rick Haynes. And yeah, Rick Haynes is in the Hall of Fame here at uh, here at uh, Turpin High School. Bill Newton's one of the best guys I've ever met in my life. And, and, and uh, also Rick Haynes uh, coaching at uh, Lakota, Lakota East. East, I believe, coaching uh, yep. coaching football. So we're going to get uh, Phil Sinkovich uh, getting him on an interview. Which one is it, man? No, I just come this one. I don't need to talk. All right. So we'll get uh, Phil Sinkovich. Hurry up. There you go, Phil. Gonna be uh, joined here now by uh, the losing coach, Phil Sinkovich. Uh, just have to throw that in every once in a while, no you problem. know. But uh, this is a special thing, man. This is this is pretty neat to see all these guys come back. And uh, how was it with those guys down there on the bench? Wham, we we're uh, we we're struggling, man. These guys are old. <laughs> you know how old they are? They're as old as me. Oh, uh, you're not kidding. There there there's some bad players out there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but but it was you know it was really neat to see Jim Larrys. Were, were you were you around when Larrys? No, was? I, was, uh, I got here in '83. I think he had graduated before that. Um, in fact, most of these guys uh, were uh, played before I uh, started coaching at Anderson. Uh, uh, Tyler Burdick, he's just as bad as ever. He can't make, <laughs> yeah. Never could make a free yeah. throw. Yeah. <laughs> this was good. This was a lot of fun. Uh, see a lot of people. Know a lot of the Turpin people, obviously, and. Uh, eh, I never thought I'd be a, around here this many years in the district, but you know, as you know, we're right. good friends. There's a lot of people and uh, families grew up here and, and graduated from Anderson and uh, and uh, raised our families here. It's been a, a 
good school district, good community. But uh, that was a lot of fun tonight. I hate losing. I hate losing that turkey. I hate <laughs> exactly, <it>. exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, but, it, but it's just a neat thing. You had one of your former a couple of former players, didn't you, from Claremont? Yeah. Scott Nelson, yeah. I believe, was Scott playing. Scott Nelson. Uh, Gary Hardwick played for me. Uh, and uh, Eric Miller all played at Claremont. A couple of those other guys uh, uh, I know pretty well. So it's... Uh, it's great seeing everybody, and uh, you guys are doing a nice job. This is good. Uh, we, we love doing it. We had a lot of hits last year on this alumni game. Everybody wanted to see how bad or how good they were. I think Will Price hit it the most last year. I think he had uh, 300 hits just because he made a shot from the outside last year. Yeah, Moose is going to want to have Moose Alberts is one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll, he, uh, no, he'll hit it a yeah, lot. You yeah, know that. He'll, he'll want you to edit out some of his <laughs> misses probably. You know, uh, absolutely. Let's look at the good stuff. So. So, well, Phil, I hey, appreciate thanks. you taking the time okay. uh, to join us, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again about this next year. Definitely. Thanks a lot, thanks. you guys. Okay, right, thanks, care. Phil. So that's Phil Sinkovich, uh for, for Coach on the Anderson side joining us, and I believe we might have uh, – did he leave? Moose? So we got Moose uh, joining us here. We'll uh, – We'll see if we can pull this off without laughing and uh, getting through this, and uh, we'll see. But uh, he, he looks like he's uh, Moose is struggling a little bit, walking very, very slowly. Did he really? So we're going to be joined by uh, him in a minute. Um, so we'll get uh, Moose when he comes up, if he ever gets here. So so he, he he's running uh, a little slow, and we'll, we'll get this uh, – Taken care of, and we'll call it a night. And how much time we got left? We go to 60. So, all right, we got to make it quick. Professional, professional. Come on over here, Moose. Will this fit your head? That's look at that. No. Jeez, crummy is sticking up your nose. Okay. And now we're we're joined by uh, the brother Moose. Joining us, and uh, I, I don't know what, what happened on uh, what was it the free throw or what were you uh, what, what the heck happened down there on the free throw? Were you a little nervous or what was going on? I missed it. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, were you were you nervous or old? <laughs> <laughs> My legs. Well, how, how was it? I mean, that's that's pretty awesome to it see was, all these guys coming back and playing. Were you was it hard in the first couple minutes? Oh yeah, that you first when you run the first time, you're out of breath, you can't breathe, and then you get your second win, and then. We got stuck with the younger kids, and some kid, I went to post up the first time, and he hit me, and I went, oh, my God, <laughs> I'm in trouble. But it was fun. It's fun seeing Jim Laritz again and Craig Van Etten and Jeff Wonker. I haven't seen him. We played baseball together for three or four years, so I haven't seen him in a while. So that was fun. So Yeah, it was good. It's just good. I mean, a good atmosphere, obviously, a, a big crowd, and uh, – you get your, your boy here to watch you play, Ryan, and your wife Lynn here. And, and that's what it's all about, too, is seeing some of the old guys. And, and it's all about the community 